Hey, Minister, have you got the trip free travel yet? Have you? Ah, not yet, not yet. A while to go yet. I'd like to invite uh, Minister Michael Green. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ed. And first of all, I want to say to you, I have to agree with Jerry. I want to take this opportunity in a public forum to thank you for the job you've done as station master in this town for the last 22 years. You were a pleasure to work with. You certainly were someone that treated the public with respect. And I have to say, you did a tremendous job. For back 22 years, I was that time on the town council, and we had many, many issues with this particular station, and you resolved many of the issues for us. Westport, as you know, is a tidy town, and people were very interested. When people came in that Ballon Road Road, the first thing they hit at the railway station, and at many, many council meetings, and I see Martin Curry down there, he'll tell you, this came up at many, many council meetings about the condition of the, this station. And you certainly did a tremendous job, but you did a tremendous job as manager of this station. And I want to wish you the very best of luck, the best of health, and I really hope that you enjoy your retirement because you did a superb job for the state, you did a superb job for Irish Rail, and I want to wish you well for the future. Here, here. Come here. And I have to say, Anne, you were looking over your shoulder because, you know, you had Rosaline and you were training her up, and I have no doubt that Rosaline will do an excellent job in the future. Now, I'm not canvassing for her, but all I'm saying is she's acting at the moment, and no better lady to continue and do the job, and I want to wish her the very best of luck. To you, Jerry, and your good wife, you're very welcome to Westport today. And I have to say, I'm delighted to see you, and I'll speak about them in a moment. You're just very welcome. Uh, Irish Rail and you know the railway stations we called it and I have to say it has a great connection with this town and uh, for many many years and I'll speak about that in a moment. I want to welcome the Cahillac and the Council, Councillor Michael Holmes and to be fair to Michael you know being a farmer and being a businessman and being Cahillac at the Council he certainly knows a lot and there's one thing he was always good at. Every day I pass through Mulrenny I don't have to go to the house to look for Michael I always know where to get him and I'll tell you where to get him not in the land not in the field, and certainly not in the pub. He's a great man for the church, and he's always praying there every day. And I'm not surprised that he has the year of the Lord, and that he was able to organise the weather today, Michael. And thank you very much for being here in Westport today. You're very, very welcome. I want to say to Patsy O'Brien, Patsy is a councillor and a colleague of mine, and Patsy has a great connection with Irish Rail. He worked for many, many years for them. And Jerry, when things wouldn't be going well, when you took some money off my budget for sport and tourism to keep you alive and I, I didn't resent it because I have a love of the, the, the rails but I, sometimes I could have done with that 10 or 15 million that I could have done with for, for sport and tourism we put it into Irish Rail. Patsy has been a loyal servant of Irish Rail and has always defended me and you have got a lot of criticism over the years but to be fair to Councillor Patsy O'Brien, the member of your staff, he was never afraid to defend Irish Rail and Patsy are quite correct. The phrase is something we need to look at it's going very well and we need to continue getting more freight trains in and out of this town, in and out of this county. The freight is a way of keeping this company alive and at the government level we're looking at ways and means to support you. But Jerry, to you and your team, we do appreciate the work that you do and I want to thank you for being here today. Today is a great day for the station, 150 years. I look around here today and I see many, many, many people and many, many families that have connections with Irish Rail. So I've done very good, and we had sad days here at this particular station, and I could go back, and I won't talk about that today. We had some tragedies in the past. Michael Holmes is quite correct. We had many, many families who saw their loved ones leaving this station, and we had crying with tears, and we had many, many families welcome their loved ones here. We forget, you know, in the past, you go back 50, 60 years, people didn't have cars, people have, didn't have ways and means to get to Dublin. And when you think about it, people from Mackin and Belmullet and people from Westport you know, four hours to Dublin, then maybe get on a boat, another 10 or 12 hours to get to England, they were going to America, it was something else. There was good days here and bad days here. And I have to say, this station, 150 years later, is a brilliant bit of infrastructure for this county and for this town. Being a tourist town, I listen to people every single day saying to me, they can hop on the train in Dublin and they're landing in the middle of Westport this bit of infrastructure is so important and over the years we had to fight, 
fight hard to make sure that the tracks, that the trains themselves, the services were put in place. And we told you at the time, Jerry, and your team, that there was people there before you, if you gave us the right tracks, if you give us the right service, the people would use it. This is one of the busiest lines in the country and it's doing very, very well. To the staff, I see them here today. Some of them have been working here for many, many years. Some of them have retired. And I want to say to you, thank you for the job that you did on behalf of the state for many, many years. You know, you loved CIE, or not CIE, but Irish Rail. You loved working here for this company. And I want to say to you all, thank you for the work that you've done. And I mean this. My family had a great connection with this company. We, my grandfather owned, uh, and my uncle owned the railway tavern. And many, many nights, when the trains used to come in that late at night, when the cargo trains or even the, the, the post come in, the pubs have been loaded. I see some of the girls down here today, and I want to welcome the girls and thank them for being here. <laughs> we have to ship them in the back door and ship them out the back door. But, but one thing about my uncle, he loved Irish Rail, and he loved it to the day he died. And I'll, give, I'll tell you a story and I will tell you Jerry today. When Brady, his wife, would be on the train and she had the free pass, and she'd come without the pass and he'd say, Brady, don't come again without the pass or you won't be let on. And that was the truth. But he loved the company, he worked hard for the company, and we have a great connection with it. Today is a great day, it's a great occasion, it's a great occasion for the town, and I'm delighted. And I hope that this infrastructure will be here for many thousand years because it's an important piece of infrastructure for the town, the county and the country. To everybody who's here today, what can I say? I look at the town band and I want to take this opportunity. Barbara and the town band, I saw them at Christmas. You see them on the town, they're there on, on joyous occasions, sad occasions. It's great to have the town band, that they come out when we need them. And I'd like to take this opportunity, and I'd like you all to give a big round of applause for our town band that we're very proud of. And <laughs> finish on this note, and Jerry touched on it. When you had the station at the quay, we had the station at Mulrenny and Michael, you did put a lot of pressure on me. You said, well, I want something done with that station in Mulrenny. I allocated 300,000 to make sure that that station is restored in Mulrenny for the Greenway and that work will start in the next number of weeks or the next number of months. It's been planned at the moment. You know, the Greenway came out of the station, but I still like to see the trains on the tracks because it's important that we have that infrastructure to bring them into this town and into this county. Everybody here today, thank you for turning up. I see Ray King down there. He was telling me. His father and his, or his grandfather brought De Valera into Westport and brought him down to the railway hotel. I don't know what he brought him to the Fine Gael house for, but I suppose there was a reason for that. <laughs> and all I can say to you all is thank you all for turning up here today. To the staff and to Anne and to Rosaline and to Jerry and to everybody, Patsy and Michael, thanks for coming. It's a great day. This is a great day for the town and I hope you all have a great day and enjoy it. And please God, we'll have many more happy days in this town with Irish Rail and you know, and you talk to Rosaline and make sure Rosaline that you keep the pressure on, that you keep this station and eventually we're going to have a nice little tea shop when people come in, they'll be given the cup of tea when they come and they'll be given the cup of tea when they go out. Thank you very much, I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Minister Ring. Four. Excellent. Look at behind me. Okay. Come on. Can we do this on three? I'm sorry? Make sure we have you all. Okay, would you listen three? Great. One, two, nice and steady, Nanny. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Looking towards me now. Just looking. Jerry, I can't. I won't bring you around another little bit, Jerry. That's it. Yeah. That's lovely. Just looking in towards the flat there, everybody. That's lovely. And just looking towards me, that's great. Excellent. That's uh, excellent. That's it, yeah. Excellent. So thank you, my John.